Oh, hello. Oh, hello there. Now, you may notice something different about me today. Yes, you guessed it. I brushed my teeth today. I know it's not very on brand with my whole, you know, disgusting person thing, but yeah, sometimes I do like to brush my teeth. I've been sleeping with this girl recently, and by sleeping, I mean z z z Yeah, and those are sleep noises, not sex noises. I grind my teeth at night. She asked me, why do I always just sleep in my clothes? Do you ever like put pajamas on? And I'm like, mm, no, not really. And then I started, I started analyzing it. And you know what? I sleep in my clothes because I need to trick myself into thinking that I'm not actually settling down to go to sleep. Every time I fall asleep, it's passing out. It's not, it's not, let's go to sleep now. I feel like if you're awake enough, if you have enough energy to like get ready for bed, then you're not tired enough to go to sleep. So the only way that I wouldn't sleep in all my clothes is if I immediately got home from work and, and changed into pajamas because that's my preferred like clothing. What I'd really like is to just live in like naked and with a bathrobe on. That's my wardrobe. That's my outfit of choice. Like that's a look. Like that's some gangster, pimp ass, uh, drug dealer. That's my aesthetic. <laughs> I don't know how people like close their eyes and start the sleep process. What's the difference between sleeping and meditating? That's why I need to smoke weed to go to sleep. I, I like to recreate just passing out in a public setting. Like I, I love just like falling asleep in the car, falling asleep at a, at a friend's house, falling asleep to avoid somebody that I invited over to my house that I don't feel like seeing. I used to um, invite like Tinder dates over to my house. <laughs> Um, when I lived in Ottawa and I had like, I didn't have uh, friends. Well, I did, but they were all, they all had like jobs and lives and stuff and I didn't. Uh, so I would just like invite random strangers over to my house and I would basically just smoke pot with them and fall asleep. Like I didn't actually want to like get to know them. I just wanted to, <laughs> for some reason they wanted to see me again after that. Like why, why would you want to see me again? And my fucking room was literally... <laughs> It was just my clothes were all over the floor. So the floor was the clean stuff and my bed which was a, a, a barren just fucking empty mattress with no sheets on it. Just a blanket like a dirty cigarette burned blanket. Um, that was my garbage. So all the garbage that I accumulated chip chip bags mostly because I didn't do groceries when I lived in Ottawa I would just wait till I got really really hungry and then I would um, walk to the pharmacy and buy three bags of sweet chili heat Doritos and like six packages of instant noodles and that's all I ate <laughs> and that's disgusting um, I do not recommend so that was my bed my bed was the garbage um, ashes all over and I would sleep in a curled up little little corner where there wasn't any garbage and then when guests came over I would like move garbage around uh, I think like inviting them into my bed on the first date was probably also the wrong impression meanwhile sleep is just a very uh, it's a very <laughs> Sleep is a thing, okay? Sleep is a, a band. Sleep is a great band. Uh, I don't have any sleep records. I would show you a sleep record. Um, but uh, today I'm going to show you a summoning record because I would like to summon the sleep demons. Actually, not the demons because with is Sandman, Sandman, Mr. Sandman, not that song, but Sandman, is he, he's a person. No. He's a thing. He's a demon. What is he? But he makes you sleep, right? I don't know, uh, but I used to be scared um, as a kid when I went to sleep. So it always, first I started off by sleeping with the pillow, just like, I, I'm sorry, I say pillow and not pillow, like I sound like, I sound fucking stupid. Okay, I say some things wrong. Just fucking shoot me, okay, please, please. Like that's that's me as a kid, just a fucking pillow on my face. Cause I thought, I thought then if a, if a demon 
or you know demons are harder to trick but if I, I thought if a, an intruder came into my house then uh, he would just be tricked he would just think oh no one's there because there's no head on the pillow and the pillow is something that goes under a head so um, that was my uh, way of thinking and apparently it worked because I've never been kidnapped uh, so that's pretty cool uh, I recommend uh, <laughs> but then after that I would just put pull the covers over me and like breathe out of a little hole like make a little breath hole and I slept like that uh, up until I was like up until I started sleeping with other people <laughs> <laughs> I would like constantly ask my mom and my sister to like sleep with me at night because I was always too scared But then when I got like my first boyfriend and I would sleep with him Slowly retired uh, the the mole child That's what my mom would call it the mole child thing I, I was a mole child and some some paranormal things did happen to me as a kid uh, I could tell you lots of stories about that but just one thing like in particular you know when you're on your bed and you can feel if somebody like steps on your bed or sits on your bed like a depression depression as I was falling asleep I, I really felt like my mom stepped on my bed to close the curtains because she does that sometimes well did that when I was fucking five years old or whatever I feel it so much that I, I immediately like open my eyes and say like mom like hey mom uh, but no nobody was there so I ran out of bed, I'm like, mom, mom, did you just step on my bed and like somehow run back to end up like not there when I opened my eyes? <laughs> and she's like, mm, no, sweetie, like I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure you were just like, like on your way into sleep and like we're feeling things. And I was like, okay. But then, but then later on, she revealed to me that the house was fucking haunted and she had lots of paranormal experiences in that house. Pretty much every house I lived in as a kid was haunted. <laughs> If you believe in that stuff or it could all have you know uh, a logical explanation but like that's no fun anyway back to the record um summoning fucking great band if you don't know summoning go fucking look them up um this is not necessarily my favorite uh, record of theirs but it's it's amazing all their stuff's amazing uh, they're like they're like Lord of the Rings black metal uh, from Austria. And uh, yeah, so this is a pretty cool find. I think I probably just like found this in a record store. A lot of the stuff I would order online um, if I wanted something in particular. I'm not sure, honestly, where I got this. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the back. Um, and you know me. I'm a sucker for a fucking colorful disc. Um, so this is, uh, there's only one side to this album. Like there's only one side to the vinyl. And then the other side, I don't know if you can see it, um, but it has a, like an engraving. You could probably see it in the light of the computer. <laughs> so yeah, that's my album of the week. Check it out, uh, Lost Tales by Summoning. Um, any check out just any fucking Summoning record. Just do me a favor, listen to Summoning. Summon, summon Satan. Summon your your dead grandfather. Summon, summon whoever the fuck you want. Okay, have a seance, please. Summoning. Listen to them. Okay, okay, bye.